Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day and welcome back to Study to Pro. So today I will be showing you what I personally carry in my pencil case slash box. And let's get right into it. This is my pencil case. It is from Kipling and I bought it online for about $20. And it is the navy blue color, but on camera it doesn't seem very dark. And so it has a bunch of places to put pencils, and then it has a section at the very bottom to hold other stuff without any organizers. I know it might seem like this pencil case is way too large and I am carrying way too many things that I need to use for a daily basis, but I really believe that it is better to be over prepared and even though this pencil bag is kind of large, it has a nice little cranny in my backpack. I'll be starting off with the first two panels for pencils and pens and I'll start it by showing you guys what is in the first four slots. So most importantly, here's the pencil I use. It is the M301 mechanical pencil in the 0.5 millimeter lead type. I also carry this black Pentel click eraser that I use on a daily basis. Here is one of my favorite black pens. It is the Papermate Inkjoy gel pen in the size 0.7. And then this pen is actually kind of interesting. It is erasable and I at first bought it for my AP classes where I have to write responses in all pen. And it is just the Friction Ball Clicker pen by Pilot in the size of 0.7 and once again it is erasable. And now we can move on to the second section of all these various colored regular pens. As you just saw, I have this pen in several different colors, but this pen is just the black color and all of these pens are the Papermate Profile Pen, and I really like the grip they have. And then just following how I organize my pens, the third group of pens I have are these felted pens in, once again, various colors. So most of the pens I just showed are the Papermate Flare pens in the size medium, but I also carry this black Sharpie pen which is also in the size medium and it writes with a similar texture to the felt pens. Lastly, here's my favorite section of pens and all these pens are gel pens. So all of these various colored pens are the Pentel Energy Gel Liquid Gel Ink pens in the size 0.7. Now we can move on to the bottom section of my pencil bag which has so much more space so I carry a lot of my more bulkier items. First, I carry this Elmer's glue. I know it may not seem necessary for the daily basis, but I do still carry it because sometimes teachers ask you to just whip out a glue stick at random times because we need it for a project. I also carry this pair of scissors and it's also kind of on the same boat as the glue stick. Here are my earbuds. Sometimes we have activities where we need to use our earbuds because we're using a Chromebook, but other times our teachers let us work while listening to music, so earbuds are definitely a vital thing to bring in my pencil bag. The bottom section of my pencil bag also houses all of my highlighters. Here I'm just showing you the blue color, but I do have other colors of highlighters. I also carry two sets of the page flags. One of them is more durable than the other, so I do use these for two different purposes. 
here is some whiteout because as you guys just saw, I carry a lot of pens, so if I make any mistakes, whiteout is definitely necessary. I also like to be prepared by bringing a couple of wooden pencils in my pencil bag because sometimes when we're taking Scantron tests or other kinds of standardized testing, mechanical pencils aren't allowed. Here is my 0.5 pencil lead for my mechanical pencil. Then I also carry this larger eraser in case I make bigger mistakes. Here is my mini purple stapler. I bought this almost three years ago and I've still been using it, so it's definitely been a necessity for me to carry around. And then I also carry a flash drive around. I haven't used this a lot this year, but I did use it a lot last year in some of my tech classes. Here is the Expo marker I've been currently using. Then last but not least, I carry around this pencil sharpener. So I know you guys may be wondering if I carry around any types of colored pencils and I actually do but that is in a separate and smaller pencil bag and that is easily removable from my backpack. So that's a separate thing but I do carry around colored pencils if you are wondering. Finally, that is basically everything I carry around in my pencil bag. So if you were wondering, this is how the pencil bag looks without anything in it. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video wasn't super useful, hopefully it was interesting. And if you liked it, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you know anyone who might be interested in this video, make sure to share. Also, we will be uploading next Tuesday, so stay tuned for that video. Thanks once again, and bye!